Okay, my Kayla crew, today is a trunk club day. And let me tell you, I am super excited about this box. Wait until you see the pretty colors and styles that are inside. I may be in trouble with this trunk. There looks to be some promising pieces. I'm also excited because a Kayla crew member styled this box. Her name is Amanda. So Amanda, if you're watching, thank you for putting together such an awesome box. Now let's go try things on. I can't wait any longer. Let's jump into the try on. Okay, let's get started. This first top is by Lucky Brand. This is the Eyelet Faux Wrap Cotton Top in purple. It's in a size extra large, and it is $59.50. It's 100% cotton. You can machine wash it in cold water, and it was made in India. Isn't it a really pretty top? It just screams spring to me. I want to come close so you can see the pretty detail, the eyelet detail. I'll come really super close so you can get a good look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? Love that. It almost has kind of like a scalloped edge to it, too, um, and it goes all the way down. It's stops here at the waist and then the waistband is elastic. It is a tad bit short so I'd wear it with a higher waisted pair of jeans like this. Um, I think it's adorable. I also want you to look at the sleeve detail here. Isn't that gorgeous? It's kind of got like a little bit of like a lace detail here and actually I didn't notice that. A little bit of kind of like a pleating on the sleeves too. There is an elastic band at the sleeve. It's not tight to my wrist though, so it doesn't bother me. And then it's got the same detail, I'll move to the side this way, on this sleeve too. I love this top. I think it's really, I keep hitting the box. It's really, really pretty. What do you think about it? I love it. I think this is gonna be a keeper. I don't have much purple, especially a lighter purple like this for spring. This might end up being my Easter day top. I think it's gorgeous, isn't it? Let me show you the back. All right, so I think we're off to a good start. What do you think? Love, love, love this top. All right, I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. Okay, so this next piece is also something that could fill a gap in my wardrobe. Yes, believe it or not, I still have gaps in my wardrobe. This is by Treasure and Bond. This is the oversized button-up shirt in white. They sent me a size extra large and the price is $59.25. Not a terrible price. The fabric is 73% cotton, 23% polyester, and 4% elastane. You can machine washes in cold water, and it was made in Indonesia. So I really like this look. I think it's cute. It's oversized without being too big and baggy looking. And I feel like because it's so an oversized look, I don't have the gaping issue going on. So I'm really psyched about that. So I think I might end up keeping this one. I think it's a cute look. Now it did come with the sleeves rolled. It's not a roll tab sleeve. When I first pulled this out of the box, I thought it had roll tab sleeves. They do not, they just came cuffed. So let's go ahead and see what they look like rolled down. Just kind of a full length sleeve. There we go. Now I like it better rolled up. I think it's a really cute look rolled up. So yeah, I like this shirt a lot and I don't, believe it or not, I don't own a white, you know, button up and I need one. I think it's a really cute one too. What do you think about it? It's a little bit longer. So this is a top that you can wear with leggings too because it's, it gives you that length. You know what? While I'm rolling up the sleeves, we'll multitask. I'm going to show you the back of it. So you can see in the back, it's a little bit longer. I'm struggling with this sleeve. <laughs> Come on, Kayla, get it together. You know, what? I got to put my arms down so you can get a better look at how the fit is in the back. I think it's cute. So I have it closed, but you can also put like a cute tank on underneath and wear it open. Yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this one's gonna end up being a keeper. Hmm, what do you think? I'll come close so you could see the buttons blend in nicely with the top. And then it's got, you know, the collar, typical collared neckline. Are the shoulders too much? You know, I'm, as I'm close, I'm like, it might be, it might not fit properly in the shoulder area here. What do you think? I'm thinking since it's oversized, maybe it's meant to look like that in the shoulder area, but you guys let me know. I'm gonna watch back and see. All right, so we're off to a really good start. I'm gonna throw on the next piece and I'll be right back. Okay, so this next tank is really cute. It just doesn't fit quite right. This is by Halogen. This is the Raw Edge Tank in pink. It's in a size extra large and it is $36.75. It's 100% polyester. You can machine wash this in cold water and it was made in China. So the color is gorgeous, isn't it? I love the pretty pink. I'll come close so you can see why they're calling it the Raw Edge Tank. You can see it's lined here and around the arm area too. And it's got that raw edge. I'll come super close. There you go, you can see that. So I think it's cute, but it's just a little snug. I would definitely need a size up if I were to keep this tank. Let me show you the back of it. So it's got that double V because it's got the V in the back. 
So I love the color, really pretty for spring, but like I said, I need to size up. So yep, this one's gonna go back. So let me grab the jacket because there's a jacket that's gonna go nicely with this tank. So let me grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, let's talk about this jacket. This is by BB Dakota by Steve Madden. It's the Geek Chic Blazer in white. I don't think I'd call this white, would you? We'll just go with it. In a size extra large, and let's see, it's $109. Ready for the fabric? Hang on. It's 64% polyester, 20% acrylic, 6% nylon, 5% rayon, 3% wool, and 2% lurex. Yeah, all that fabric in here. You have to hand wash this in cold water and it was made in China. I think it's really cute, isn't it? It's a nice spring blazer. I'll come close so you could see the pretty print and the colors, love. It's got a little bit of texture too. I hope that's coming across the screen. I'm gonna come super close. Um, so I like it. I like the blazer a lot. I'm not typically a blazer girl, but I love it over the pink with the white jeans. I think it's just a fun look. I like the length of it. It does have pockets too. Did you see when I was close? Whoops, the lapel of the blazer. I think it's a cute look. I really do. Should I keep it? 109 bucks. I mean, what do you think? Is that an average price for blazers? I don't have a ton, so you guys are gonna have to let me know if it's a little bit pricey. But remember, it's trunk too, so we're paying Nordstrom prices. Let me show you the back. I like the coverage that you get in the back with this too. So I probably would use this, you know, through the rest of April and probably into early May before it starts getting really, really warm. So I probably have another like month and a half or so to wear this. And then of course, bring it out again next year. What do you think? I may keep this one. This is something different. I really like the pattern. I love the color. Love that it's light for spring. So yeah, this might be something to add to my wardrobe. And it's different, something different, right? So you guys let me know. All right, oh, I've got the jeans on. So I'm on the fence about the jeans. I don't know if they're fitting right. We're gonna talk about it. Let me turn this camera down. Okay, so I was super excited about these jeans and I thought, you know what, maybe these would be the perfect white jeans for me because they're by Good American, which is my favorite brand. I don't know if they're quite perfect, but let's talk about them. I've gotta watch back to and look in the mirror again. They are the good straight raw hem straight leg jeans in a size 16 in white. They're $99, which is, you know, the good American price tag. The fabric is 72% cotton and 20% recycled cotton, 6% polyester and 2% elastane made in Turkey. And you can machine wash them in cold water. The fit in this area, I'm not sure about. Maybe it's the underwear I have on. I don't know if that's TMI, but, you know, maybe that's what's throwing me off. I have a pair of nude underwear, and I don't, you know, they're not, I don't think you can see through them. I'm going to turn around to see if you can, can you see through them? Well, look at the back now. Can you? I don't think so. They're thick enough where I don't think you can. I know we're doing things backwards. We're looking at the back first, but I just don't know. I don't think they are. But I'm just kind of thrown off a little bit. Maybe I'm just, <laughs> I've got to watch back and see. Maybe it's the top that I'm wearing that's throwing it off because the top is a little bit snug. So I think I'm focusing on that. Um, but they're a nice pair of jeans. They're super comfortable. They have your classic five pocket style. No distressing. The ankle area is just slightly, slightly, slightly frayed. Um, you could barely see it. So I could get away with wearing these to work. So I'm just not sure about the fit in like the front area and if they're see-through. I don't think they are, but I do have a pair of nude underwear on. So, you know, but that's what I would wear with these anyway. So I'm going to see if they are. And I'm watch back and see because I'd love for these to be a keeper so that I can start wearing my white denim. You guys know I'm in need of a pair. So I'll have to watch back and see. But you guys let me know too. Sometimes it's hard to see the white on camera. For some reason, the camera doesn't always pick up well with white pieces, so it might be difficult for you to see, but let me know if you can. All right, I'm gonna change and I'll be right back. All right, let's talk about this dress. The dress is by Mill. It's the Roma Floral Print Cotton Slip Dress in purple. It's in a size extra large and it's $158, so it's a little bit pricey. The fabric is 100% cotton. The tag says you can put it in the machine in cold water, but do not put it in the dryer. Oh, and it says to wash separately, and it was made in India. So the dress is kind of 
me a little bit wonky. Can you see there's like a pouch here that I can't like get to go away? I don't know what's going on with this. And I kind of feel like it's constantly wanting to twist. Like I just feel the urge to kind of twist it to put keep it in place. Like, I don't know, a part of it fits well, like down here. But I think again, it's the chest area where it doesn't fit right up here. So yeah. It's not going to be a keeper, but I love the print. I want to come close so you could see the print. Really, really pretty floral print, right? Perfect. I told you, this box screams spring. It's got the spaghetti straps with a V neckline. Um, So, yeah, love the print. But just, yeah, see here, it's kind of like I kind of have to pull it up a little bit. And then it's, it keeps, like, twisting. And then the bottom has a little bit of, like, a ruffle detail. I'm pulling it up. You can see the bottom, right? Um, has a little bit of, like, ruffle tier detail. So it's cute, it just doesn't fit me properly. And I don't know if I'm crazy about where it hits me. So, you know, if you are taller than me, it might hit you at a better length. I don't know, for some, like midi dresses don't always work for me. It's gotta be the right one. But this one was, I know where they were going with this one. I like this style and I love the colors. Let me show you the back. And the straps are adjustable too, so you can take and tighten them up which is nice. I don't have on a strapless bra. I just took and um, tucked my bra straps down just for the purpose of the try on. So yep, this one's going to go back. All right. I'll be right back with the next piece. Okay. Up next, we have a bag to talk about. So the bag is by BTB Los Angeles. It's the Isabella Toe in beige. It's $78, but boy, isn't it a cute bag? I love the style of it. I love the size of it. It's a really cute straw style bag. So it'd be really cute for summer, wouldn't it? So it has these like tan or more like a cognac colored handle. And then what I love about this is that it has a zipper closure which is nice, so everything's nice and secure. It doesn't have much organization on the inside, so it just has this one zippered pouch here on the back, which is great for like keys, so they won't fall out, you don't misplace them, you know. I don't, my keys for my car, I don't have to take them out, I just need them to be close to the car, so it would be perfect so I don't misplace them, but sometimes you know you go and you need them to, at the grocery store to like swipe your card, you know, your loyalty card so they're easy to find and grab in this little pouch here and then you can take and throw a little like smaller bag in here for some organization the only thing is it doesn't seem like it would stand up well you know if you were to put it down it doesn't really have well it has I guess a little kind of it's really flimsy though you know how some of the totes like I have the street level totes that I got from Nordstrom I have a couple of them and on the bottom they have a little kind of like um I don't know what to call it but you know what I mean on the bottom of the bag it's sturdy so it helps it stand up even though it doesn't have feet I don't know that this well let's test it no I know it doesn't have anything in it but it doesn't really stand it just kind of falls but it's cute isn't it so I'll show you what it looks like on my shoulder so you can wear it like this, cute, right? You can wear it kind of like, or carry it like this. I like it, should I keep it? A little bit pricey, but I do like it. Let me know what you think. All right, now we've got to talk about shoes. I've got two pairs of shoes to show you. Okay, pair number one, these are by Seychelles. These are the Skipper Ankle Strap Sandal in black, size eight, and they are $109, so they're pricey. Now, they're cute, but I do like a little bit more of a heel. These are just kind of a flat sandal. Not kind of, they are a flat sandal, but look at the front. They have that braided style, which is so on trend right now. I actually have a pair of braided sandals in my cart on DSW's website, and I just haven't bit the bullet and hit purchase because they're over a hundred bucks. I'm saying these are expensive, but the ones I have in my cart are over a hundred. So yeah, they're cute, but I, I'm going to send these back. They fit well. They have on the back this zipper here. So you just kind of put your foot through this hole and the zipper kind of gives you some more room to do so. They are comfortable too. So yeah, I liked them, but I just wouldn't reach for them enough to spend $109. If they had, if they were healed, I probably would because they're really, really cute. So even if they had like a little bit of a wedge, I'd probably keep them. I think they're adorable. So yep, if you like flat sandals, these might be something that you want to try out because they're adorable. Yep. So yep, I think they're cute, but I'm going to pass. All right, let me grab the next pair. Okay, pair number two. Now these are adorable. These are by Jessica Simpson. They are the messiest sandal in black size eight. $109.95. Of course I love these, right? 
and they kind of have like an asymmetrical shape to them which is something different right they also have more of a square toe and then look at the black heel isn't that cute so i do like these a lot these felt pretty comfortable too although i didn't have them on for too long so I may keep these. I feel like these would be really good for work. And I feel like I'd get a lot of use out of them. But do I want to spend $109? No, but I really like them. I think they're really, really cute. So I may end up keeping these. I just love the style. And like I said, something really different. So you're going to see the side. Oh! the side by side of me trying them on um yeah but I might I really like like these a lot so yep they may end up staying with me and going in my closet all right this was a good box right oh I have something that didn't fit I got it let me it's right here I'm gonna show you so this top didn't fit so this is by where is it so it's aster or is it aster or astr the label and it's in a size extra large so here it is. It's really, really cute, but it's really, really cropped. So, but it just didn't fit. This is the square neck top in purple size, extra large, $59, 100% polyester, dry clean only, and made in China. So it does have shoulder pads too. See? Um, I think the neckline is cute. I love the color of this top. It does have a zipper that comes... I don't know if it's supposed to help you get it on it didn't help me get it on but it comes up to there but you know you wouldn't wear it open it's just kind of to help you get it on um and then the sleeves have buttons here so it's cute but didn't fit me so yep it's gonna have to go back all right i'll be right back and we will do a quick recap i've got to think about what i want to keep all right, Michaela Cruz. So I just sorted through my pile and I made a pile of absolute no's, things that are going back, but I have five pieces that I want to keep. That's half the trunk. Oh, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to need your help. So I'm going to probably post this video before. When am I going to post it? So I think I have a couple other videos scheduled to go up, but I'm going to bump this one up because I could really use your feedback and your help on this one. So there's five items. Which ones are they? Yeah, the jacket. The jacket's cute and it's something different, right? So isn't it really pretty for the spring? Nice and light colored. Um, I like it a lot. So I may... This is a contender, but you know, it's a hundred bucks too. All the things I want to keep. Well, actually, no, this was only what, 59, this white top. I feel like I should keep this one. I really like it. It feels like great quality too. And since I think, since it'll fill a gap in my wardrobe, I'm leaning toward keep. Oh, I am dropping things left and right today. Hang on. I want to leave it on the floor. <laughs> So, and then the Lucky Brand top, I really like this one too. I think it'll be pretty for spring. I actually think it's going to be my Easter top. So since I already have plans for it, I, you know, I think I've got to keep it. And then I watched back. I like the white jeans. I think my hunt for white jeans might be over with these. Well, not over because you know I want to add another pair too, but I think these are going to be keepers. I really like them, but you tell me. And then these black shoes. I, I really like them. And I think they're going to be great for work. So yeah. Should I keep all these, all five of these pieces? Oh boy. If I do my wallet's going to be hurting, <laughs> but you know what? They're quality pieces. They're pieces that are going to be around for a while. You know, the shoes are something that'll be, I could wear for a while. And I think cost per wear, right? So I think about the white jeans. How much am I going to wear these this spring and summer? I'll wear them a ton. And because I'll be pulling for them a lot, I'll get my money's worth, right? The white t-shirt, I feel like that's a classic piece that I could keep in my closet. Did I say t-shirt? Button up shirt that I can keep in my closet for a while. So, all right, help me out. Should I narrow it down from the five to just a couple pieces? I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback. Thanks so much for watching and for spending some time with me today. I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I'll see you all really soon for another video. Thank you to my stylist, Amanda, who put together such a great trunk. Really felt personalized for me and I loved all the pieces. So thanks again, Amanda, if you're watching. And where did I leave off? See, I got sidetracked. So if I didn't say I appreciate you watching, I do appreciate you watching and I'll see you all really soon for another video. Oh, before you go, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future videos and I'll see you all really soon for some more clothing and fashion.